Next up, we're going to put the, the filling together and without having to soften these in advance, I'm just going to use my high performance blender and then I can use them straight out of the fridge if you don't have that. And you're going to use a hand mixer, then soften them, pre-soften them so they're easier to work with. Half a cup of sugar, tablespoon of starch. I'm using potato starch. The recipe calls for cornstarch, two eggs and a teaspoon or so of vanilla. All right, all right, we'll put it on the base and we'll just give it a slow start on number one. on the side and scrape it down once and then give it a quick little go and all we have to do is pour this into our base we're gonna make the base which is just some melted butter some sugar and some graham cracker crumbs. So if you have leftover cookies that suit the flavor of your cheesecake, go ahead and use that. You won't probably need sugar, but you will need some melted butter, basically just to stick it together. That's all we wanna do is kind of a wet crumb. And then we're gonna throw that in the bottom of our little springform pan. And then we need to press it in there. And if you have a straight sided glass, you can use it. And if you want to have it come up the sides, you can, or you can just tamp it down. You don't want to like press it really crazy because it actually gets kind of hard. I'm just going to use a little bit of pressure to make sure it's nice and flat. And there it is. Okay, to assemble it, we're gonna put this little stand in the bottom. We have the cradle here ready. But first, we're gonna put some foil on top. And this is That's so nothing leaks into here. We don't want any water getting in there. Set it in the little cradle. We pour a cup of water in the bottom so that's going to create our gentle steam and then this just makes it super easy to get it in and out so that just sets down straight in there oops Tuck that in a little bit better there you go and then we're going to set that in the deluxe multi cooker and let it cool with the lid off. So when you remove it, just make sure you don't get any liquid in there. It should, it's nicely set, ready to cool, and then we'll refrigerate it.
Press play. Action. All right. Give this a try, Ernie, please. Okay. Mmm. Delicious. Yeah? So smooth. Mmm. Absolutely. Just melts in your mouth. Creamy. And the sauce? The, cro the sauce is very good. Um, Have another bite. Yeah, it, it really is. It's delicious. Right. So we recommend people try this? Absolutely. All right. Mm. Thank you. Absolutely delicious.